What are up, YouTube? It is Trent from GTYGO, here to show you guys what I played at the last regional that I went to this weekend. Went to the Columbus Regional, there was like almost 600 people there, it was wild. Um, I tried to play something a little more meta, um, and I got my butt kicked. Um, Something, I got droll and Lockbird like 13 out of 14 games that I played. I don't know. I dropped out of the main after the first couple rounds because I was just very frustrated. Uh, just extremely bad luck all the way around. Uh, I would get, you know, I had my uh, uh, sphere mode sniped out of my hand twice in the mirror. Um, just all around bad luck. Just drolled, ogred my Sarusia one time. Uh, the deck is very good. Um, I am not very lucky. Uh, I also was playing this deck uh, with one week notice. I uh, kind of built it on the last whim, but here we go. Shoutouts to Max Reynolds, uh, Faisal Khan, Nishad Larango. Uh, who else? Who else? There's just, just a lot of people that play this deck. This is no original thought of mine or anything like that is what I'm trying to say, but... Anyways, uh, three levian here. This card's actually insane. Um, it can do literally three things: um, spin a card, blow up two cards, special summon a light dragon. Pretty good. And then uh, Lord of the Lair. Lord of the Lair is disgusting in this deck. Um, can be from graveyard as well. Uh, spin a card seems pretty good. Um, and then for the chaos babies, I probably should have played this at two in hindsight, but I really liked it at three in testing. Three Black Clap Serpent, three White Wyvern Burster, and then you got the one Eclipse Wyvern in the middle there. Um, yeah, if I had to redo it here, I'd probably cut the Black Dragon Clap Serpent down to two. Eclipse Wyvern's really good, too. Um, some folks I've heard talk about trying to bump that up to two. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think it was Honey Girari was talking about bumping up to two. But uh, for the Danger Package, we got three Nessie. Don't worry, they'll snipe it every single time. Three Suit Shinoko. And then, that's cool, we're just going to get drolled, so those don't really matter. No, just kidding, those dangers are pretty solid. And then, yeah, of course, the one big foot to pop floodgates. Um, yeah, the dangers are good. Um, they do work. I'm not sure. I don't like running Mothman because the opponent can draw into Disruption or a Hand Trap. So that's why we don't do the one Mothman like a lot of folks do. For the Thunder Package, uh, three of the OG, uh, two Dark, uh, two roar and then you never want to draw it so one hawk because you can always search it right uh, one thunder dragon duo and then two battery man solar to round out the thunder element of the deck um, ratios are solid I like OG thunder dragon because it gets lights in the graveyard to open up more of your plays I just saw it way too much though so that was a thing and then uh, for next we have Yo, know, honestly, this card might get hit in some form or fashion because it's so good, but uh, Phantom Sky Blaster, um, good golly, that card does work. If you guys don't know what that does, it summons tokens up to the number of monsters you have on the field, including itself, so it's how you get Sarbuja. Also, the chain box with everything else that you can do in this deck with Sarbuja is pretty gross, too. Uh, we were trying to do this, the Miscut Arc Brave and Goliath. Um... Yeah, locking your opponent out of their extra deck, in theory, seems pretty good until until they uh, destroy your castle that you tried to protect. And then uh, for the only spells, traps, we run three seconds light. Fix them hands. Pretty good. Always get drilled afterwards. Feels good, man. Feels good. Next up, we'll do the side deck real quick. We got three Panker Tops. We got three Thanos. Three Gamma Seal. Three Sphere Modes that'll get sniped before I can play them. And then three Twin Twisters since this was a regional and I didn't know what kind of shenanigans to be expecting. That was the side deck. Not too much on the side that I don't think I would change too much except for trying to get Ultra Rare Sphere Modes, but you know, it's neither here nor there. Uh, for the extra deck, pretty, pretty spicy extra deck we got here. Hold on. We got two Colossus. We got one overpriced Red Boy. And then uh, Cypher Dragon at number 95 for those Amorphage Goliath plays. So, 
That's it for the fusions, synchros, and exceeds. Now for the links, one link spider for uh, Phantom Sky Blaster, LP and Pisty and Agrapain. Uh, I love all of these. They all do great work. Pisty does a lot more work if you have uh, what should we call it, Levin in hand. But yes, they're all they're all good boys. All good boys. Uh, Reproducus and Summon Sorg. Uh, good for Thunder and the Dragon Element. Uh, you can actually beam out Lord of the Lair with that and go for your rank 8 plays. I did that once or twice this weekend. A little mini Nightmare Package. You got Phoenix Unicorn for recovery plays if they blow up your board. Because you ought to lose if they blow up your board. Um, and then yeah, 2 Star Yuja. This card's gotta go. It's disgusting. Not fair. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh 2019. But uh, yeah, that's the deck I played. I'm not sure if there's anything... I would change aside from the one black clop serpent being cut. I'd cut that down to two probably. But uh, deck's, deck's a lot of fun. It's explosive. Uh, shout out to all the homies I got to see this weekend. It was great seeing everybody at Columbus. Had a ball. Had a blast. Uh, love, love you all. Love seeing you all. If you like this profile, go ahead and shoot me a like. If you want to subscribe and see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to G2YGO. And if you really, really want to support us, consider supporting us on Patreon. We'll get you a nice field center and take care of you. But uh, that'll be it probably from here. This is Trent with GTYGO signing out.